Hello and welcome to another video. So previously I've downloaded some LiDAR data uh, from the DEFRA website and I want to use that in ArcGIS Pro. However, that data is currently uh, in a LAS format, L-A-Z, as you can see here. Now, I can't use that data in ArcGIS Pro. Um, I've already unzipped it and the folder has been copied into my workspace for this demo. However, uh, I can't see anything in there and I can't do anything with it. So the first thing we're going to need to do before we do anything with this data is um, run it through the ETL tool. Okay, And I'm going to quickly take you through that workflow now. So in order to do this, you are going to need the data and interoperability license. So if you don't have it, get it or turn it on. Okay, in your project toolbox, right click new and click on spatial ETL tool. Call it whatever you want or leave it as default. Click OK. Once you've done that, this will take a few minutes depending on how quick your system is. Don't touch anything, just let it do its thing. It is opening up in the background. So I'm going to pause the video while it opens. OK, it finally looks like it's opened. So here we go. You'll get this other uh, little tab down at the bottom up here. So click on that. Here you'll get the data interoperability ETL tool. So all you need to do is put in the correct details to this. So for the top one, click uh, the one that ends in brackets LAS. For the data sets, you want to hit the three buttons, go and select your data. Here we've got all our LAZ files or LAS files. I'm just going to hold down Shift, select all of them. Okay, once I've done that, I'm going to click Parameters on the left hand side and I'm going to select from file names. This just changes how the output files are made. Okay, okay, at this stage you can hit the three dots there for coordinate system. And I'm just going to make sure British National Grid is selected. Okay, I'm happy with the top section now. Now to do the writer section. So again, from the drop down, click LAS. In terms of data sets, this is where your output data is going to go. I always like to save it in the same folder in that it came from. However, inside a new folder called output. That way I know it's the um, the last data, LAS, and not the LAZ data. There we go, I've selected the folder. I'm going to leave the parameters box, and for coordinate systems, I'm just going to ensure that BNG is checked again. There we go. Quick check of that. I'm happy, so I'm going to press OK. Give that a second to do its thing. Okay, so that's finished now. I get another pop up. Happy with that, so I'm going to press OK. Uh, my window will change to this, and then I'm going to press Run. So, to do that, hover your mouse over this uh, big green play button in the top left, press Run, hit Run, and there we go. Starting the process from changing from LAS data LAZ to LAS data LAS. Uh, this is going to take a long time depending on how big your data set is. Um, and it's just going to get going. Okay, so don't sit and watch it. Go and get yourself a coffee. You'll see the numbers down the bottom. Uh, it's right in that many points of this many points. This number will just go up and up as it discovers more and more tiles. So I'm going to pause the video now and unpause it when it's done. Thank you. OK, so I'll apologize. I forgot to uh, record the last bit. So what will happen once you've run that process completely, you'll get a big wall of text down here. And at the very bottom, you'll have capital letters saying successful uh, and hopefully no yellow or red text. OK, 
once you've done that, we'll come back into ArcGIS Pro and what are we expecting to see. So in our catalog, we'll now have a little folder called output that we created and inside there we'll have loads of last tiles. If you take a look kind of like mine. Okay, so we can select each one of these and manually you could um, drag them into the map window, have a look at them, and then you've got some last data. Okay, that's one way you could look at the data. However, we're going to create a last data set. So stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for listening, and that was the ETL process.